Eric Allinger here. I'm your uh, Piner field agronomist here in southern Illinois. And uh, here in a wheat field in Franklin County today, we were going to talk a little bit about some of the things that are going on uh, at this time in, a, in your uh, nearby wheat field. So as we examine wheat plants today, we know our growth stage is, is uh, in many cases is approaching Feeks 5. And Feeks 5 is an important growth stage for you for a lot of reasons. Um, Let's talk about nitrogen first. So when it comes to nitrogen at FIGS 5, uh, one of a couple of things will happen. If you're a split uh, applicator on nitrogen, uh, you're probably getting ready to apply your second shot or you may have already done that. Uh, you may also, if you're a single shot guy, FIGS 5 is your day. This is your time to go ahead and apply your nitrogen uh, to this year's crop. Uh, one caution, a word of note here we would, we would add is uh, Although it would be convenient to add Harmony, especially if you're using 28% as your nitrogen source, but that will increase your possibility of burning the crop, so we would have to discourage that. Although FIGS 5 is also the time we start thinking about applying Harmony, especially when nights are getting up, and it's cool right now. We've been in the 20s and 30s here recently, but as our nights warm, we'll think more about getting our Harmony applied at uh, somewhere around FIGS 5 as well. So another thing going on in your wheat field right now, an activity that's, uh, that's going on around you is uh, application of fungicides. And uh, in some locations right now, you may see guys putting down an early shot, uh, maybe a half rate of, of one of the products to uh, get you out in front of something like one of the rust diseases, perhaps stripe rust like we had in 2016. And uh, so a guy's using a half rate or a couple ounces of this or that, uh, certainly beneficial, but by no means uh, the end all for that for that treatment. In 2016, we found that a half rate of a product early uh, bought us time, so it gave us the opportunity to scout and spray, and then we had to go back and continue to recheck and watch weather development to see if stripe rust went ahead and developed as it did in 2016, and then another application was required to to have uh, any certain level of control of that. In addition to that, and we'll talk more about this later, is coming up a growth stage 10.5.1 on the FIG scale will be head scab. And uh, we would remind you with head scab, you'll be confined to the use of more of the Trizole family of products. Uh, and so uh, information that's available to you comes from some of the land grant schools, in this case Purdue in particular. We would absolutely encourage you to access this information that shows you efficacy of different types of fungicides or different options you have available on different diseases. So we encourage you to access and use that and uh, that'll get you headed in the right direction. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.